Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Steven. High glucose can be a side effect of Tisigna. In this study, 36 to 41% of patients experienced elevated glucose, although most people experience a mild or moderate increase in glucose. The normal glucose range in a blood test is approximately 70 to 110 when fasting. I had results in my first year in the 120s and 140s, but that was not fasting. When not fasting, glucose over 200 is when doctors become concerned. Stephen also dealt with higher glucose for the first year or two. This is a known issue that the drug causes. But ultimately, it wasn't high enough for my doctors to worry about it. I then decided to start having my lab work fasting. It wasn't a requirement, but I realized that once I, if I fasted before my labs, then my glucose would be normal. So some side effects, you know, you can take care of your own, like my restless leg syndrome. I drink water. Other side effects you might not care about, like your hair. I'm like, well, not a big deal. And then there's another group of side effects where you might need to see increased monitoring because of it. Uh, you need to talk with your doctor about whether you need to um, change your meds to deal with the side effect, reduce the dose, or take another medication to manage the side effects. I think your glucose was one of the examples of something you just you you just kind of monitored and we would have a conversation about that each time we went to see the doctor so if there's someone that maybe had a higher risk for diabetes then maybe they wouldn't put them on to signal or keep them on there for long because there is the risk of increased glucose so maybe there's a different treatment that could be suitable to you and there's lots of different treatment options for cml which is which is great news I was diagnosed with chronic myeloid leukemia, CML, in 2011. I took my Tisigna pills every day for over eight years. In the beginning, I was on the 200 milligram dose. Steven's currently in treatment-free remission, so yay. He stopped taking Tisigna in 2019, but there's still some minor side effects, even getting off the pill. I was fortunate that I didn't experience many withdrawal side effects from stopping the Tisigna. So in closing, we're here to support each other and learn from each other. And we're all part of Team Heal and we want to hear from you. Our question of the day is, what side effects did you have from your treatment? Comment with your answers below and we'll write back. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to join Team Heal. We all need teammates to support us in living a healthy lifestyle. We're Amy and Steven from the Heal Every Day Together channel. Check out the link below to our website to find out more about our program for cancer survivors and caregivers. Thank you for joining us today. Together, Together we heal. heal.